Hi, I'm Steph Horrocks, and our passage today is Zechariah chapter 6 and verse 12, where it says this. Tell him this is what the Lord Almighty says. Here is the man whose name is the branch, and he will branch out from this place and build the temple of the Lord. Now, two things strike me immediately about this passage. Firstly, the verse is found in a passage which is an encouragement to complete the building of the temple. As part of this, Joshua the high priest is also going to be crowned. And this of course foreshadows and points to the crowning of our high priest, Jesus, the King of Kings. Jesus is to be both priest and king. His purpose, not just to reign, but to build the temple. And of course that's us, because we are the temple of the Lord. But secondly, and most importantly, comes this declaration, here is the man. And immediately I think about those words that Pilate of all people said. Jesus was standing in front of him, wearing his crown of thorns, wearing his purple robe, being mocked, and Pilate said, here is the man. But why the branch, you may ask? Well, believe it or not, the clue is in the capital letter. Not just any branch, but the branch used that way six times in the Old Testament because it always means a genealogical sense of a particular descendant, a particular family. Jesus is descended from the royal line of David. Again, he is the king with a capital K, the branch with a capital B. What do you need to remember today, I wonder? Maybe that God becoming a man, that he suffered as a man, he knows your pain, your struggle, your doubts, and today he is your man of sorrows. He is the man. But of course, he's much more. Lift up your eyes. He's not just a man, for God always intended him to be so much more. And God intends too that we one day will reign with him. Wow, now that's real hope beyond reason and really is something for us to celebrate this Christmas. He is our man and we will reign with him one day.